Hello guys, welcome back to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will see what is link service, how we can create link service and what's the purpose of link service. So let's get started. Uh, so let's start with like basically what is a link service. Let's say we have various data sources like some Azure data sources such as blob storage. So we have blob storage, we have some database, right? It can be Azure database or any external database. It can be any other thing like Google AdWords, any external resource. Now the question is, I want to import data of Google AdWords into my data factory or the database into my data factory or the blob storage into my data factory. How can I do that? So this is my Azure data factory ADF. Now I, I want to, you know, uh, connect with the blob storage. I want to connect with the database. I want to connect with the Google AdWords, which is a standard source. The, let's say blob storage is a Azure owned resource and so on. I want to connect all of these to my Azure data factory so that I can fetch the data and I can transform my data. Now the question is how I can connect with the blob storage or other resources. So this connection can be created with the help of link service. So this connection which we are creating, uh, we can create this connection with the help of link service, right? So let me write it linked service. All right. Now uh, let's understand it with the help of an example, just like, you know, if you want to make a girlfriend. So how you will approach your girlfriend? Basically, uh, initially, uh, you know, she's not your girlfriend, let's assume. So what will happen? You will firstly, uh, you know, do some conversation, say hello, hi. You will firstly create a connection, right? Common connection between you and your girlfriend. And then slowly, slowly, you will approach her and finally you will make her your girlfriend. Same way, uh, it's just approaching different resources. Now this Azure Data Factory want to approach someone like database or, you know, Blob storage, how the Azure Data Factory can approach basically with the help of link service. Simple. Now, the question is how we can create a link service. So, let's see how we can create a link service. We will go to manage. We will click on new uh, in the link service section. So, basically, there are multiple tabs and we will click on link service. We will click on new and we will select. Uh, we want to make the connection with which resource. So there are plenty of resources here. If we go to Azure, you will see Azure resources. These are all Azure resources which are present in Azure Cloud. Then we have database, various database uh, which you can connect with. We have files, various file systems, generic protocols, NoSQL databases like MongoDB which is very famous. And then services and app which provide service like your Google AdSense, Google Sheets. You can connect with everything like the paypal and so on right so you can see these things now the question is how to create a link service let's take an example of azure blob storage in the same order you can connect with any other resource also so i'm taking azure blob storage uh, for the connection part but you can take any other resource also now we will be clicking on connect we will just give a name so I have given the link service name as Azure Blob Storage LS. LS stands for link service. Uh, I will select the integration runtime. Like, you know, while connecting with the resource and while processing, uh, which processor we require. Integration runtime is nothing but the processor. For more information, you can see my previous video on integration runtime. You will get to know it better. And then you need to select the Azure subscription based on which, uh, you know, resource you want to connect with. I, I want to connect with the internal Azure resource, which is the blob storage. So that's why I am seeing this part. If you want to connect with some other external resources, definitely some credits you need to enter, right? Now I'm just clicking on uh, the, I'm selecting this storage account, uh, which is my storage account 1222 prod, which you can see here, I have created it newly. Now, uh, what we have to do is we will do this test connection. Make sure to do test connection if the test connection is successful, that means you are able to connect with your resource. If it is unsuccessful, if it is failed, that means you are not able to connect. So the most probable issues why, why you are not able to connect is maybe you have entered some wrong credentials if you are using some other external resource. Uh, sometimes it may be a VPN issue like your one resource is inside VPN, another is not. 
maybe there may be if you are using some database and you, in the database you have turned on the setting that only selected IPs uh, will be allowed it. For that case, you need to add the IP of the data factory into your database, otherwise it will not work. So if you have any such error, you can definitely comment down below. I will help you out in that issues. And finally, if it is, uh, you know, coming your connection is successfully, good luck. Like you have done it, your connection is success and you can click on create. So this is how simply we create a link service. Now, uh, as I told, like firstly, we need to have an integration runtime. That is the base thing. Uh, integration runtime gives you processing power. Then you need to have link service on top of it. Link service give, uh, make, creates a connection with other data sources. Now further, we will be seeing like what we need further. So further in the upcoming videos, we will see what is data set, what is data flow, what is pipeline, how we can create pipeline. We will also be covering some projects. So stay tuned. So this is the entire list which we will be covering soon. Right. Thank you.